Well, the situation here is quite tense, even at nightfall. Now, the demonstration itself is over. Um, about half an hour or so ago, the demonstrations, the demonstrators uh, moved out of the area. But as you can see, there are still people at the Rafa crossing who are trying to cross. You can see their families, ordinary people, women with their children, families who want to get into Egypt for medical treatment. And the situation here is still quite tense. You can probably see along the border gate, Egyptian border police in full riot gear. It was border police um, backed up by um, riot police earlier on in the day that clashed with the demonstrators, causing dozens of injuries. Let's look back now at the events of the day with this report from Nadim Baba. It started like this. Hundreds of Palestinians, mainly women and children, confronting Egyptian riot police. They gathered here, desperate to escape the Gaza Strip. Conditions in one of the world's most densely populated places, even harsher since the total Israeli blockade. At one point, about 50 women managed to cross the Rafah border. The response was water cannon fire from the Egyptian side. And then, out of nowhere, gunfire from within the Palestinian crowd. There were injuries on both sides, either from the shooting or from the pushing and shoving. About an hour later and security reinforcements meant the whole area was back under Egyptian control. An uneasy calm at Rafah, but for the people of Gaza, no sign of Egypt softening its stance. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.